the minerals and mining is a topic what we are going to discuss today now see generally if you observe in our homes you find various items which are related to us but we don't know that they are made from minerals for example you drink water in a glass take the glass is a mineral which is taken from the earth and it is composed of different composition and you get the mineral output so in the same way when you see at the powder washing powder soaps detergents paints all these things add as a types and varieties of the minerals what we find in our day to day life so minerals are a very key important natural resources what we have for us given by the nature at various levels and various points so in order to utilize them properly we need to analyze them what are the positives and the negatives and the types of the minerals available for us in the nature so in nature we have two categories of minerals one is renewable and non renewable minerals the minerals are the products what we get naturally hidden in the earth they may be either in the solid form liquid form or in the mixed nature with its alloys so let us see the renewable resources the renewable resources are the resources which are available for us in plenty in number you can utilize them and we can get back it but when we move on to the non renewable resources for example like coal the coal is an energy where you can utilize it and once the coal is get exhausted you can't get back the coal again so this kind of energies which are used once and get flourished is known as non renewable sources of energies so we have two types of minerals also one is a renewable source of minerals the other one is the non renewable source of minerals so moving on to the renewable source of minerals like you can take water we can utilize water for larger parts again and again and again and it does not get extinct it gets spoiled you can clean it and you can utilize it but when we move on to the non renewable like coal which is completely getting extinct and we can't utilize you can take sand sand once used and build something again we can't get back the sand so in this way the energies which are going to get into extinct once used in a larger scale is called non renewable source of energy and when we are using them and again and again we can utilize them those things are called renewable sources of energy we have a coal fields which are found in our state and we have the singareni collieries which are owned by the nizam certain period of time later it was owned by the union government with share with the state governments let us have a visit to this place and how was the system going on in all these context we shall discuss now about the types of the minerals available for us now moving on to the types of minerals what we have in our country let us see here we have bauxite available for us bauxite is a mineral which is used to make the alloys of the aluminum which are having in very light weight we can mix them and it's used in making of the aeroplane and all the light weight things uh, the main product what we get from bauxite is the alloy of aluminum and moving on to mica mica is a very light thin layer which is available in the nature which is used for making all the electronic products for us especially for making the electronic goods like computers laptops earphones all these things we need to get the mica products which are to be purified and in india we have the bulk amount of mica which is available for us see mica is just like a plastic thin polythene cover which looks like it but it has the electric conductor's capacity to retain it and to have the memory chips and all so mica is having good advantage for us and many of the software industries also can be established to make the hardware products for the required software industries using the mica products and moving on to chrome i think you are familiar with google chrome we are not discussing about the google chrome we are discussing about the chrome which is used in making the stainless steel items for example our utensils which are made of stainless steel so the major thing what we do with the chrome is the stainless steel products and moving on to asbestos asbestos is made of the cement sheet layers of covering the houses which are as an alternative for the other pakka houses what we are getting right now and asbestos also provide a long life for the houses and they maintain as strong layers above the houses 
and the making of the asbestos has been a controversial from a larger part of time because the workers who are working in the asbestos are getting some health problems so there is a serious concern about the employees who are working in the asbestos and now there is a ban on making of the asbestos let us hope it should be revoked very soon and moving on to the minerals which are available for us in our india and concentrating especially on asia sorry on ap <coughs> see here in north of ap we have the coal deposits that is near the kothagudam and all the entire regions we have the singareni collieries all these are filled with the coal in a bulk in amount and in larger scale for a thousands of hectares you find the coal deposits found here and as we move on to the now eastern part and the western part we get the krishna godavari uh, basin where we get the petrol and the oil reserves it is in bulk amount for us which has to be explored which has not got explored till now in the larger context it is expected maybe this year it can be explored and moving on to the diamonds diamonds of ap are world famous there is a story that the largest diamonds of the world are found in the ap lands even the kohinoor diamond is found in nearby to the krishna river basin so in ap you have the mineral resources in bulk and large in amounts which are i mean a few but you get them in large in amount the most important thing is the coal then we have the krishna godavari basin for oil and gas and moving on to diamonds we found in the anantapur and the other regions which are in the rail sema districts and we also find gold mines in the anantapur districts where everything is in plenty but most of the diamond mines and the gold mines are unmined yet so what is the process of getting the minerals out of the land because they are mixed in the land and they have to be extracted how can we extract them what is the purpose or how can we get them out of the interest and use it for the best of our knowledge what is the process of this are we following this process in our state let us take an example of this and do a detailed study of this one we'll discuss about this now